for for dynamite, I, I mean the the some you know so some really I, I don't know big Kyle O'Reilly showed up. Sting, what do we do with Sting for the Observer Awards? Because I, I wish there was like a comeback wrestler of the year or something. Yeah, because people are trying to shoehorn shoehorn him into most improved or something. But that's that's actually stupid. If you vote him for most improved, because it's like he's no be- he's he's not as good as he was when he was in TNA, which was his last full time stuff. And when he did his WWE matches, he was, you know, I mean, he is doing more because of the dives and stuff. Because you know, he wants to be like everybody there. There is a certain thing of the guys there that come in punks the same way, um, where there's a standard, and you don't want to be like the guy who's not up to the standard and sting's got a lot of pride and he's working hard, you know, no doubt. Um, but I mean, you know, he was, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, whatever. It's like, yeah, he's incredible. He's incredible for almost 63 years old. He's incredible, but I wouldn't call it most improved because it's not like he's better than he used to be. I mean, or anything like that. He's just amazing for, He's amazing for his age. You know what I mean? It's he's covered well. He was in there with good guys tonight too. Yeah. That were that were. I mean, when I was watching Sting in there with uh, FTR, it very much reminded me of watching Bill Watts, who was a lot younger than Sting, and Sting was better than Bill Watts with when the last stampede but, against. But the he night. didn't look as young as Sting though, because of, obviously there's face paint and t-shirt. But Sting Sting still looks like he doesn't well, look face, like an old man. He, because the face, well, I mean, I, I'm the last time I saw Sting in person, which actually was a couple of years ago, um, you know, but he does like you're around him in person and he's he's like he's not a big bodybuilder looking guy in the sense of like how he used to look. But you would go and if you saw him in person, go, he's a pretty fit guy guy Mm -hmm. you know even even though he wears the t-shirt and everything um i mean i mean he's older i mean he's a fit guy but facially and everything because he's a couple months older than me i mean i was like dude you know you he really does look like he doesn't look like he's um i don't know like he's 40 or nothing like that nothing like that but but he does look much younger than he is even without the face paint but the face paint does help a lot too so we get to the main event. Um, the Andrew Zarian and and Rich from Matt Men had tweeted out right before this match something like, you know, well, what would you do if Punk was wearing face paint or something? And so I think everybody was sort of like hoping that that he was in he was in on it with them, and he came out. He had the Sting face paint. He had the Sting tights. Sting had the uh, CM Punk shirt, and his face paint resembled the CM Punk shirt. Uh, so that was really cool, and ah, this was a, this was a really long match, but it was so much 20, fun. Twenty six minutes, really long, yeah, yeah, really long. So many crazy things happened. Like I thought MJF like fell on top of his head at one point. Oh dear God, I'm still worried about him. From that. I mean, he he did get up and wrestle, but so he he was basically launched out of the ring, and FTR was, I mean, they were there, they're pros, but he just man, he landed bad. Uh, every time Punk would tag in, MJF would run away. So they never really, really mixed it up. Um, Sting, you know, the Sting was the the man in this match, and like you said earlier, he had really, really good guys to work with to to make him look great. Um, so near as we get to the finish, uh, Punk's in, calls for the GTS, and he's about. It looks like he's going to go after MJF, but Dax pushes MJF out of the ring to take the bullet. Da, uh, Dax eats the GTS, then he takes the Scorpion Death Drop, then a really far coffin drop. Darby had to go more than halfway across the ring, and then Punk covered for the win. This was like, not only was this a good match, but it was just also ultimate fan service. Like, I thought, the- this was, I, thought, I, thought this was, I thought this was a great match. I thought FTR was tremendous with Sting. They told their story where you know, MJF was always running away from Punk, but it, and it was done in a good way. Like especially like the one time when they run up the up the stadium and then da- I mean up this you know up the stairs and then down the stairs you know of um 
you know, the stands and um, Darby. Darby did an amazing dive. I just remember that where it's like out of nowhere, he just explodes. He gets so much velocity, just explodes on all three. And um, yeah, Sting did a plancha on everybody. He was unsteady there too. That was kind of scary. Yeah, um, he he uh, he almost couldn't do it. Like his his foot was not steady and it's steady, and then he finally got it up. Yeah. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube. Over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.